Hi, welcome to Creating the Goods. I'm Wendy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could take one of your photographs and turn it into a vinyl cut file to use on your next project, plus some tips and tricks on how Design Space can help you add elements to your image when they are missing. So without any further ado, let's get started, and I will meet you in Design Space. <music> Okay, we're in Design Space. Come to the left, click Upload. You're going to click Upload again. Click on Browse for your file from your computer. Dropbox should come down. Pick the picture of your choice. Hit Open. Picture should come up. Look over to the right and see what would be a good choice on how to clean your image. We only have two colors, so we're going to click Simple. If you have more colors, you might want to pick one or the others. Click Continue. You will then go over to the left, click on the magic wand, and start removing all the light areas and keep the dark areas for your vinyl. But I have a faster and easier way. Let's go over to this website called Rapid Resizer. When you come to the website, Make sure it says at the top, Free Picture Stencil Maker. Come over where it says Load Photo. Upload the photo that you are working on. It should show up in a little picture icon. Then you're going to come over and there will be several buttons. Click the button that says Adapted and use the sliders that say dark and white, soft and sharp, and adjust your image by moving them around. In my case, I slid more to the dark and then I made it a little bit more softer. Yours may be different. Just play around with it until you get it the way you like it. I like my image more defined with a dark background. This is why I prefer using this image generator because it makes me feel like I'm more in control. Okay, once you get the image that you like, click on download. You'll see a drop box with your image. If you like the way it looks, just right click, click save as, save it to your computer. I prefer using a different name to save it and keep the original as is. Okay, once you have your image saved, let's go back to design space. Click Upload, click Upload again, Browse, find the image that you were just working on, upload it, you will come to the design space, click Simple, click Continue, go over to the magic wand and start removing all the white area. You'll notice it's much easier now and your photo looks more defined. Go around, make it bigger, so that way you can see more of your picture. Continue removing all the areas that you don't want. This might take a little time. Oops, if you make a mistake, no worries. Go to the back button. Just keep going around. I'm going to define the eyes a little bit more. So I'm going to come in, just erase it. Okay. Oh, I think I need to make that a little bit better. So I'm going to come back again. Make it look good. A little bit more of an oval. Continue coming around. I'm going to do a little bit on the other side, but I'm going to make my eraser a little smaller. That way I could get in closer. And just come up and around. Looking good. Like the way that looks. Too tight on the other side. Oh, I like that. Okay. A little bit more definition. Make it a little bigger. Continue. I think I'm going to remove that. Looks pretty good. All right. Just clean up some more of the background noise. Keep going. A little bit smaller. 
but my puppy needs a little bit more of the pupils. I'm going to make it larger. When you're dealing with vinyl, you want to make it a little bit more pronounced so that way it's easier to weed and also looks better on the final project. Continue. I also want to give a little bit fur. Build up his head a little bit more. I'm going to come in and erase or remove some of the background. Give it more definition. There you go. Erase it a little bit more. Come up, clean it up. There you are. Looking good. A little bit less of the eraser. I'm going to give it a little bit of fur. I'm going to come up and just erase it, go up and down. So it looks like there's fur coming up. Do a little bit on the other side. Oh, that's looking nice. Yep. Come over and around to the ear a little bit. Add a little bit more definition to my image. Do the other ear. Oh, that's looking very nice. A little more. Okay, size it up, bring it in, get close and personal. Make sure everything looks good. More definition here. Erase. Yours might be less time than mine. It might take you a little bit longer. Remember, all the black is your vinyl. So that is all going to be on your project. The ones with the little checker, that is clear. That is going to be no nothing showing. That is going to be the project that you would adhere your vinyl to. You'll see the background. If it's a t-shirt, glass, whatever, that'll be showing. Okay, once it looks good, you're going to come over and click on preview. If you feel it needs more work, hit the back button. If not, hit continue. If you still like what you see, we're going to save it as a print and cut. If not, you hit the back button. Then you're going to come over and name your project or keep it the way you have it. Also, make sure you fill out that tag areas for future reference. Now click on continue. Find our image. Click insert. Okay, here's our cleaned up new image. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so we can see what it looks like and we can start working on it. As of now, our image is showing as a print. We need to change it to a cut. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the print icon. The layer attribute window will slide out. At top, click on the scissors and also change the color to black. Okay, we now have a cut file. Okay, let's slide our puppy over. I think our puppy needs some nostrils. So let's go over to shapes. We're going to click on circle. Okay, move that up. Move our little puppy over a little bit more to the right. Okay, position that. Let's go back into our shapes. Let's click on another circle. Okay, now we have two. Okay, on one of the circles, what we're going to do is unlock it. And we're going to make it into a very small tube like shape. Once you get that, you might want to tilt it a little bit. Make sure you lock it. There you 
take it out of the way. Take your other circle, unlock. You're going to make this into a small oval shape. Like so. Okay, tilt that a little bit. You're going to bring it and connect it to your other piece. Okay, now that we have what we like and everything's adjusted, we're going to highlight it, come down to the right, click Weld, come over and change it to white. Let's move it over onto our puppy, size it, position it, make it look like a, he has a nice nostril. Adjust it to see where it will look good on his nose. Okay, we're going to need to make another one, so let's duplicate that. Come up to the top. Click on flip, and then click it horizontal. Now let's see how the piece looks like on the other side. Position it and see how it looks. That looks pretty good. Okay, but we could only slice one, two layers at a time. Highlight it, come down, hit the slice button. Okay, remove the pieces that we don't need and eliminate them. Now get our other piece, bring that over to the other side of our nose. Try to highlight that. Yeah, sometimes it will be in the back, so you need to go up top and bring it to the front again. Okay, position it. That looks pretty good. Highlight it, come down to the right, hit slice. Oh, there's a little debris from a previous cut. You need to remove that. Go to the right, find it, go to the top, just click on it and hit delete. Now we come back, highlight our puppy, and click slice. Remove the pieces that we no longer need. X them out. Come over and look at our new puppy with his new set of nostrils. Doesn't he look handsome? Now, of course, you may not have to do this with your photograph. You may have something else that you would like to fix. What I'm showing you is that you can take and fix some imperfections using these simple shapes here in Design Space. So try it for yourself and see if you can make your image look even better using some of these shapes. Okay, let's move on. Now let's look at our image and see if anything else needs to be fixed. Another way is to change the colors of our canvas. But first, let's remove our grid lines by going to the top here on the left and click in the corner. Now come down to the bottom and click the white circle here next to where it says blank canvas. The window will slide out, you click in colors, click on a few to see where your image will look like with the different colored backgrounds. Okay, we're going to check one more way if anything else needs fixing. Let's change our image to white. This will help us to see the cut lines better as well. Now we can see here at the bottom, there is a piece missing at the border. Same for the other side here on the right. So let's fix this. Let's go to our shapes and retrieve a box, unlock it, make it into a nice thin line. Place it on the bottom of our image, and we're going to adjust it where it should be. Sometimes it's easier to move the image instead of the shape, I've noticed. Okay. 
highlight your image and go to the top, click on Align, and click Bottom Align. Go to the bottom right and click Weld. Now, let's do this for the other side. Make a nice thin line. Position it to where it needs to be. Highlight both, come up to the top, click Align to the right. Highlight both pieces, come down to the right, click Weld. Now that looks better. Let's turn our image back to black. This also looks good. I like the way my image looks even with some of the imperfections, but to me, this makes my image look even more realistic. And I think it also gives it some character. What do you think? Well, I think our furry friend looks good and he is ready to be used on a project. I gave you a few good ideas on how to get your photograph vinyl ready. And I also suggested a photo generator, which the link is also below. Also, as you saw, Design Space has some really good options to help you edit your image as well. But it really does start with the best quality picture you can find. I know, this is not always possible, so we have to improvise and use our means. I have a cute project coming your way using one of my furry friends. So please subscribe to my channel so you can see the cute DIY project coming next. Also, I would love for you to join my new Facebook group, Cricut is Creating Goods. So please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Take care.